Alright, episode 10 of Ruby. Um, this episode is the second part of the first day of classes, uh, which apparently only consists of one class. Um, this episode, which I called last week, involves Weiss actually battling against the boar-type creature that was inside the cage. Um, this episode was actually a really good episode because it, even though it seemed like Ruby and Weiss had sort of come together as a team in episode 8, we see that Weiss you know, after last week's episode, Weiss has seen that, you know, Ruby isn't exactly as mature as she thought in that initial moment, and Ruby's still just the little kid that she always was, and we see in this episode, you know, it goes right back to when they were initially in the forest, and, you know, Ruby's trying to help out Weiss and say, you know, do this, or, you know, go Weiss, like, even when she just cheered her on, Weiss kind of, you know, scowled her, and it just made Ruby sad because she kind of felt like she was, you know, just this little unimportant kid who, even though she got the chance to be a leader, she doesn't exactly deserve it. And it kind of, you know, tore her down because that's just how Weiss is. And she's just kind of, you know, pompous, really, because she's had that sort of lifestyle and she believes that she deserves certain things. And I really enjoyed this episode for that because we got to see Ruby and Weiss both you know, learn the lesson of leadership. Weiss obviously learned, you know, it's not about being, you know, the best leader. It's about being the best person you can be. And, you know, Ruby learned pretty much the same thing, but, you know, in a different way, more so that it's not about, you know, letting other people lead or letting other people who are confident lead. It's just about being confident in yourself enough to lead. And we had the professor who's name I just don't remember at all but he did have a musket that was an axe it was interesting and you know him and Ozpin you know obviously they have some form of a connection because the professor mentions you know I've known Ozpin for a long time I've always trusted his judgment and you know Ozpin clearly he believes in his own judgment and a line that he says is how he's made more mistakes than any man woman or child I believe on the planet he said or something like that and that really caught my attention and you know, I'm sure that's a little hint that we're going to get for something in the future. And I hope we do. It's really curious to see, you know, if that does actually lead to him having some sort of, you know, really bad backstory. Like, you know, obviously just speculating, but maybe he used to be a bad guy and, you know, he kind of turned his whole life around or something like that. But when he says that, you know, it was just an interesting thing that caught my eye or I guess caught my ear. And then, you know, he says, but, you know, of all the mistakes I've made you know, choosing you isn't one of them. And, you know, you kind of have to be confident in yourself that you are the leader. And it was really interesting how both him and the other professor pretty much say you can't decide, you know, you're not good enough of a leader or in Weiss's case that you are good enough of a leader, you know, in the first day of classes. You know, things were completed like the day or kind of the night before, I would assume. And, you know... A couple of hours into their first you know real day of classes Weiss and Ruby each have their own conceptions of each other and their misconceptions so they have to kind of learn you can't just assume you know people you have to give them a chance and you know even though Ruby is the youngest character having been um, advanced two years she has to have her chance you know she has to have her time to shine pretty much and really experience leadership kind of like Jean had his experience in episode 8 when you really think about it and you know it was just a really good episode you know I feel like it had a lot of story even though it was so short it seemed really long to me just because of you know how impactful it was with the characters really realizing you know who they were and how they couldn't exactly just you know have you just go with the first thought in their head I thought it was you know a really good message for the episode and you know in the end Weiss does decide that you know, she will not, you know, try to push Ruby off as the leader and, you know, try to be one herself. She'll instead be a good team member, you know, to the leader and, you know, help Ruby advance as a person rather than try to take her position and just, you know, have her be off to the side. So I really enjoyed the episode and now I feel like even more so now that they've actually gone through, you know, this episode, even though I thought they had kind of done it in episode eight, now that they've really gone through it again, 
it's really good to see that you know they're actually going to be friends and i really like the little scene they have at the end where you know white sketch ruby coffee even though for some reason she's like sleeping in her bed which i thought was kind of funny at least i assume it's her bed i always thought you know, like the drapes and ropes and stuff was supposed to be for weiss and also it's white but you know that i guess that was ruby's bed i'm not sure because it was hard for me to watch the episode because my internet was kind of messed up and i was in like a really weird place when i was watching it so i couldn't even hear all the dialogue really but i'm pretty sure that that was still weiss's bed also the book stacking um yang and blake's bed i thought that was funny because i didn't catch that in the other episode but you know them connecting towards the end was just really cool and how she says you know like i always wanted bunk beds as a kid i just thought that was a nice little line to show that they're a lot they're closer now than they obviously were a few hours ago when weiss was thinking you know i'm not gonna listen to you because i know how to fight and I don't need a help, you know, I don't need help from a kid who's like two years younger than me. Not that that's a huge difference, but, you know, that's just how she felt because that's the life she had. She was entitled and, you know, she, you're the heiress to a multi-million dollar company. You, you know, you see it all the time in TV shows. That does kind of happen. Even if it's you being a fighter, it can still happen. And I'm glad to see that, you know, why it's kind of sort of went back to how she was but you know for just a split second really during the fight and then she kind of got the lesson and it wasn't just her yelling at ruby and ruby trying to be her friend it was her actually talking and you know putting her own feelings out there saying i feel like i should have been the leader and then basically getting you know just the cold hard facts from the professor when he basically says that's preposterous so i thought it was a really good episode to kind of you know humanize Weiss and really have her develop as a character where she can get along with Ruby knowing that she doesn't have to be the leader she just has to be a good member of the team so I really enjoyed the episode obviously comment below let me know what you thought of the episode and what do you think next week's episode is going to be like because there wasn't much of a you know lead up for next week or anything like that it kind of just you know ended where it ended so you know in next week's episode could be anything but hopefully it's gonna focus more on john and his team and john did get a little nod you know he had his like one tiny little line when he said you know what's her problem so hopefully next week we're gonna get you know john and his team and you know him and pira and you know lie and nora hopefully you know nora in class that should be funny but like i said comment below let me know what you thought of this episode and you know what could next week's episode possibly be Thanks for watching.